So last week I watched Blazing Saddles. It was written and directed by a guy named Mel Brooks and Richard Pryor. I had never seen a Mel Brooks movie except for Robin Hood, Men in Tights. And I was like, why do people love him so much? Then I watched Blazing Saddles and I totally understood that it couldn't be made today and probably the greatest comedic movie ever. People told me to watch History of the World Part 1, bruh. I just got through watching History of the World Part 1. I want to go on record saying this. Mel Brooks is one of the greatest writers in the history of movie cinema. If you have not seen History of the World Part 1, you can drop out of school right now and learn more about the world from this one movie than you've ever learned in history, bro. There's a scene in this movie where he got the people playing human chess and the queen make a move and he's like, okay, Bishop jumped the queen and he did... If this... I'm trying. If that scene was shot today, not only would this movie be banned, burned, every person involved would be charged and put in prison right now. This movie is so flawlessly written. It goes from cavemen to the Bible times. Dog, I had no clue the Spanish Inquisition was that violent and that serious. And he, he has this, Mel Brooks is a Jewish man. He has this way of making fun of himself. The only reason I got offended about this movie, the one reason I got offended about this movie, he ain't really make fun of black people how he was making fun of everybody else. We ain't getting to shine not one time. I I hope in part two, when I see part two, he give us some stuff. He got to attack or he got to handle the slave trade or something. Because the way he just educationally just, a, oh, oh my gosh, dog. Gregory Hines in this movie, a lot of you kids don't even know who Gregory Hines is. Gregory Hines in this movie, I hope he got an Oscar for playing his part in the biblical portion of the movie. A lot of the catchphrases we say, Mel Brooks is the greatest writer of all time. I'm gonna go. I'm, I'm saying that. I don't. I don't want to hear no comments. I don't want Mel Brooks is the greatest writer of all time. He at the end of the movie they had Jews in space. They had a Jewish starship, like Star Wars. <sighs> Hitler on ice. Hitler on ice. I just can't. I just can't. History of the World Part 1 makes me hate this generation. I Lord, can I just be born a couple years back? Just reverse me. Just put me a couple, just a couple years back. I'm talking about after the civil rights and stuff. Right before this generation, but after the civil rights, because I'm not strong enough to go through what they went through, Lord. I'm just keeping it real with you. Okay. History of the World Part 1, second greatest comic movie of all time. Blazing Saddle is number one.